it's the urgency. So, you know, COVID is more is urgency. So everything are quick. You may not think of accounts payable or receivable when you imagine the COVID-19 response, but you should. I got an email saying that you've been activated for a COVID response. We work. We didn't go home. We didn't work at home. It's been absolutely crazy. Joanna Kinney was the point of contact for all COVID-19 invoices. Her workload doubled. Individually processed, let's say, a sum of 300 documents per, per month, right? But that during that time, we processed like 600 per person. One day, Jesse Calderon was sitting at his desk processing rent checks from vendors who use HHD facilities. And the next day, he was suited up on the front lines of the pandemic. But there was a need for bilingual speakers. They said, oh, will you speak Spanish? I said, yeah. So they had me in registration. So we were putting on all the PPE gloves. And so what we would do is when the folks would come up, we'd have a forms and we'd write down all their information. We're going to hotspots. We're going to homeless shelters, uh, battered women's shelters, multi-service centers, and we were testing out there. Patrick Wynn's job didn't change much, so he didn't hesitate when volunteers were needed to work mass vaccination sites. At least my role there was to identify the mobility challenge citizens like approaching the site, put them in the wheelchair. I guess as an unofficial bonus, got to see them leaving, being so happy as to being able to get the vaccination. Grant's manager, Tamara Leonard, also answered the call when volunteers were needed. But it was her CDC grant that kept HHD ready for whatever was thrown our way during the pandemic. Every time they talk about those 300 people or 400 people that they're hiring, more than likely they're going to be on my grant. Epidemiologists, and then we have the call center, okay. the people who sign you in, the people who make sure that your, um, your documentation is correct. They pay for buildings, they pay for all kinds of equipment. The whole team says they were impacted by the health department's role during COVID. For Patrick, it was getting out of his comfort zone. It was my first time interacting with people outside of this floor. Smooth operation. And just like seeing all the behind the scenes work, I'm getting the, the event set up. I remember overhearing a discussion about parking and then how, how to deal with that. All the problems that had to be solved before the event even started. Tamara learned she can rely on her coworkers. It, it's wonderful to, to know that at any moment, I have other people who know exactly what I'm doing and can jump in. Back at his desk and out of PPE, Jesse feels the pandemic brought both of his teams, the one out in the field and the one here in the office closer together. I had family members that got sick and that we lost. You know, seeing other people having their family members get sick, seeing all that you know, together, it brought us closer as a group because we think, okay, well, if one of us potentially gets infected, we'll all have to quarantine, the whole team will go down. We take whatever we have here at work, we're taking it home to our families. Finally, Joanna is proud of the way they adapted to the extraordinary situation. To prioritize more now, we've been assigned to additional duties that we don't normally do. So it's giving you a opportunity to see how capable you are. We communicate well and we survive, I guess.